White guilt. Let's talk about it. I'm in. Oh. Bing. <laughs> and this is the reason why we have to have history, all types of history. Mm -hmm. Because there are a lot of white people who don't want us to talk about black history because they're afraid that it'll make them look bad. Yeah. But think about the abolitionists. They were the ones who did look out and see somebody chasing the zombie, and they did something yes, about it. Absolutely. The abolitionists are the ones, but we will never know about the abolitionists if we don't talk about black yes. history. Yeah. Who do you think hid us in the cellars and in their basements right. when we were running on the Underground Railroad? It had to be white people because we didn't own houses. Who yeah. was the one putting us in the back of the truck with the potatoes, and we had to be underneath the, the blanket and pretending that we're the potatoes, whatever. We were the, the Freedom Prize. We're the real Freedom Prize. Oh, good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, and we yes. had to be the, who do you think drove that buggy up to the north to Canada? Hey, Canada. Thank you, Canada. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who do you think did that? It was white people. Yes. Yep. So we have to talk about the abolitionists, but we can't even get to them if you won't even let us talk about what happened. And also what they did not say is, oh no, we could hide you in our truck, but we try not to get involved in slavery things and right. then just close the door. Right. Or, right. like what I said before, Maybe this is just a fight you can't do. Look, mm -hmm. you're not necessarily an <laughs> if you don't do good. Mm -hmm. This is getting into sort of nerd talk, right? But there are, there are outright evil people who I think are actively doing things to put people in a bad place. Mm -hmm. And there's actively good people who are mm -hmm. sacrificing themselves to do good. Mm -hmm. But neutral exists too, and there are just people that aren't safe or they gotta look after their own. Look, if, if I go to your door and I'm like, oh my God, some white people are trying to kill me and you're like, oh God, sorry, and you close the door, you might not be evil, you might have kids sleeping upstairs. Mm -hmm. You're not the bad guy, but you right? Still I think call 911. That'd be nice, or maybe <laughs> yeah. don't call 911. So, yeah. Exactly, 911 so, is a joke. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Right, but so I guess I also want to make sure that right. people know that this isn't about switches, it's dials. Yeah. And so, yeah. Yeah. you know, not everyone has to be an abolitionist. Right. But also, you don't have to be like, I can't help you. Hey, there's a black guy running down the street. Don't right. you, you know, right? Oh, right. That's evil. Right. That's a that's a different. Right. My yeah. my fear, my worry is that radical deference might be more on the side of evil than it is neutral. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But again, our actions have consequences, or our inaction have consequences, or whatever. Mm -hmm. So um, there you go. I'm gonna say one word. And then I'm gonna shut up. Oh wow! And you guys are gonna talk. <laughs> I can't. I hope you don't you. shut up. I want to hear you okay, okay, okay. too. But yeah, go ahead. Okay, reparations. Woo! Holy crap! Merciful Father. All okay. right. All right. I'm gonna go first, yeah, and it's good. gonna go no. back to you're gonna have to watch one of the other episodes when Gerard mentioned Germany because I want to kind of jump mm -hmm. on the Germany thing mm -hmm. and Nazi Germany thing. Yeah. They were given reparations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There were people who were given reparations in Germany. Jewish people mm -hmm. that were given reparations in Germany. That is why many of those Jewish people were able to thrive for their children, their grandchildren, their great because they were given a little something to yeah. at least get their footing. Mm -hmm. Now, guess what? Mm -hmm. In America, reparations were given <laughs> to the slave owners. Oh, not my to the slave. God, we cannot. People just... don't know that oh, unless no. you do your history. You lost part of your workforce. Well, here's a here's a ton of money for you. It's like the bank bailout. They were given the bank bailout, but the slave owners were given reparations, not the slaves. Oh my God! And this was from good old Abe. This was in America. America. So that's why we have to know our history. Yeah. There's no way in the world, to be honest, I think if more racists knew the real history of this country, black racists and white racists, because yes, you can be black and racist. Oh yeah, 100%. You can be, but the only reason you are is because you don't realize about the abolitionists who helped black people, mm -hmm. and you also don't realize about the reparations that were given to slave owners. Right, yeah. right. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely. Once you understand that, then you'll have a different feel about everything. Okay, your turn. No, no, no. Uh, so I talked I talked a little bit about reparations okay. when I talked about the monopoly studies that, that they did, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and, and in truth, in those studies, go back and watch that episode or check out some of the monopoly studies, mm -hmm. you know, just as a super quick recap, privilege, if you're behind, you stay behind. That just tends to be the way that it is, right? And so reparations was the way that in the game studies that you could get even kind of caught up. It's important to note that even in those games, the people who were in the front still won. 
right? So, you know, go back and watch that. There'll be more detail on it. But I think reparations just helps. Now, how would we do it? I'm not saying we should implement reparations and everyone who was black or had relatives who were slaves should That's get a tricky. little bit. Because also, at this point, a lot of white people had family who were slaves too, right? right. Like, we're, we're very well... Not well enough, maybe, but we're very mixed, right? Yeah. And so the first time someone who is 60% European, 30%, you know, uh, black, and that, I don't even know if those percentages would work, and, but, you know, whatever the percentages are, and that person gets some reparations, and then people lose about it, right? Everything falls apart again. Right. So I don't know how reparations would work, mm -mm. but I will say that I think that theory of reparations mm -hmm. does the thing that we would want it to do that mm -hmm. it would help a group of people who started way behind mm -hmm. at the very least get close to caught up and, and things aren't so bad financially for them where familial wealth gets to actually be a thing for mm -hmm. once now I also believe that given enough time but man it's giving it a lot of time like those things will start balancing out there will be a point where reparations doesn't do the thing anymore right I think as African Americans as other minorities right are, are building their own futures and their the generations are getting la large enough that they can build familial wealth like one day reparations is just useless now right, right? we ain't there yet so what come up how we would fix again but I don't know how we would do it yeah I that's I mean that's it. the key because the idea you know, and a lot of people have huge feelings on either side. Yeah. But let's say you're for it. What does that like? I mean, how do you do it? Like, right. is it even possible? And there was just something on CNN like a month or two ago, and some state had said, or maybe it was at a, a more um, municipal city kind of sort of thing, but that 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 they should give every black person five million dollars. And okay. Yeah, but you know, but the thing is, is like that's ridiculous. I know that's what a lot of black groups were like. That's stupid. First and, of all, we're going to get mugged by white people. <laughs> we're going to get robbed well, and killed is, by white people. It wasn't that, yeah. gonna happen. Like they, <laughs> right. you know, I. Think, but even if it did happen, like that's. <laughs> I know. get killed. But the thing is, is like that is like it was such a joke to put that kind of number. Right. And they're like, why? Then you make it not realistic like yeah. they so that that's what cnn was like why don't you like this doesn't that sound amazing and blah 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 it's ridiculous and it was like because but that, it's and ridiculous. that's not the thing that puts us on even <coughs> footing right yeah. like yeah yeah it, that's just that ridiculous. ridiculous but i think the thing is is like nobody knows right what like what's that number yeah what's right that number? Oh, how do you do we it we will give every black family so much we will give every native american family so much mm -hmm. we will give every particularly chinese and japanese mm -hmm. families because they building those railroads right? building those railroads so now they gotta get list of too. Things, right but then also every irish family mm -hmm. needs so much right like right. the big question right. starts to be how far back do we go right but again my belief is that so far back it stops mattering right like people are starting to be able to get caught up and yes. those things are happening but the idea of it is still good i get that the like the idea is great if it had happened before. When and it's I'm not supposed saying, to yeah. happen. Yeah. I'm not saying that it should not. Mule, but right. That should have happened. Should have yes. happened. Yes. So there's there Even is something. Four there. acres. Forty acres is a lot. Forty acres is a lot. I'll take one acre. <laughs> also, forty acres is a lot of a lot. goddamn work for me. Exactly. That's too so much yeah. work. I'll yeah. take one acre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. So yeah. but but what you know right now it's like the the word that's going around. But like, do you think it's just like this word that's going around to kind of kind of keep some people happy and some people pissed off and like but I don't see it really ever happening so like what the problem is is like what could really happen that could help sort of even the playing field I feel like reparations is the the idea of it is good in the way but also polarizing like socialism yeah. is right mm. I'll, I'll say it socialism done well could be great I know. But socialism is probably not going to be done well. Right. And that's the issue. And I feel like mm -hmm. reparations is that same thing. It's this great ideal. And if it were done well, if someone could come up with this great plan and 
enough people agreed with it that they could implement it right, yeah. amazing for the world. It's not, right? Right. Sorry to be a naysayer, but I, right. I feel like that. And so I feel like when people bring it up, they're either bringing it up with hope, like, man, this could solve things, and it could, it done, written in a book. It would be great. I think some people bring it up in the same way that uh, dirty socialists, because we also know that in its purest form, it's just not going to work, and it gets yeah. to be this inflammatory thing. So yeah. you're either good, and you're bringing it up with the idea that people will talk about it and do something about it, or maybe you're evil and you're bringing it up as just this way to be divisive and mm -hmm. point out a thing that we all know is probably not going to work and you just get to be like, see, it can't work, you know, right? Yeah. And that's, I think that's very different. Yeah. I want to say something too about proving it. The way, the reason why many of us can't even prove because there's no documentation. There were many times yeah. where our great great grandparents weren't even written down with their real names, or whatever. It was just like, all right, three. It was almost like we were cattle. Right. So Absolutely. we have no way to document that this particular name was the one that was a slave because it wasn't right. written down. Yeah. Right? So there's no way to really prove that my great great grandmother or grandfather is entitled to this right. and they didn't get it because they didn't write. Down. Yeah. But don't you think, again, that still goes back to slavery, but I feel like reparations could be made for redlining and right. all, oh, all yeah. the other, the, all the other things that we have systematically done That's to tricky. keep black people, yeah. you know, yeah. more than that. Well, and I will say that the other side of that then starts to be that for that to happen, because we do not have an unlimited pie, it is, uh, I'm going to butcher the quote, but... Uh, Man, uh, it is like privilege starts to be a, a curse when, or, or equality starts to be a curse when you've had a lot and we have to take some from you to mm -hmm. give to everyone else, right? Mm -hmm. You got a plate full of pie mm -hmm. and someone has none, I got to take some pie off your plate and this looks bad for mm -hmm. you, right? And so for yeah. redlining, we're like, you know what? Well, it's true. We need to make sure black families have better housing and lower rates, so let's do that now that a bunch of white families get their homes taken away. This isn't great for them either, right? Yeah. Like, so this isn't a thing that really gets to, again, there's no, at least uh, not that I've ever seen, there's no way to do this perfectly, but you're 100% right. There's a lot of people that where reparations can work. This is where us overcompensating a little bit helps. If we yeah. all overcompensate a little bit for all the people in their specific situations that got the short end of the stick, we can start. We can get rid of the need for reparations if we all kind of take it upon ourselves. It's the shopping cart theory, right? You are. Everyone can say, we as a society can take care of ourselves. We don't need government. We don't need the police. We can take. We'll take care of all of our people, right? But the shopping cart theory, in essence, says I wish I could give whoever credit for it that came up with it, right? But if you're a person that, when you're done with your groceries and you don't put the shopping cart away, you're the example of why this can't work because there's no repercussions for not putting your shopping cart away, but you know it's the right thing. Mm -hmm. No one's policing you, but if you still won't, you're the reason that re reparations, socialism, all those things won't work because in the end, you just look out for yourself and don't do even the simplest thing to move stuff forward and to make it better, right? right. So yeah, there's, mm. I don't know how we go about doing it. Yeah, so. So have we figured anything out? Reparations, because there's, so, I mean, it's, it's just. It's great in theory, but I don't know how it's going to work. Yeah. If someone can figure it out though, and you know what, the truth is probably someone, let's be completely honest, right? There are geniuses out there, and there's probably someone listening who's like, I, I have the perfect plan for reparations. I know how it would work, and I've tried to get it to people I want to hear, right? So yeah. I think that there, someone probably does in fact have a notebook full of all yeah. the thing that you have to do to make this work. Yeah. But on Hulu, you keeping it would suck. Yeah. Put it out there. On Hulu, there's a, a, a show called The 1619 Project. Try to watch that. because 1619 Project. 1619 Project. Ah. Because it was a thing that was a woman who wrote something, and it became an essay in the New York Times, and then it blew up into like a book, and now she has a TV show, a documentary. 1619 Project. And they talk about it. And there's a gentleman who says exactly how much should be given to XYZ, but again... Uh, it's tricky because like you said, yeah. okay, so if I'm, if I, 
hate to use you, but if you're sure. married to a yeah. white person, yeah. uh, you know what I'm saying? You're married right. to a white person, so I'm giving you $5 million, but that means your white wife is going to benefit from it as well. Exactly. Something exactly about right. that ain't right, because right. I'm married to a black person. You see what I'm saying? So it's going to be right. tricky. Yes. <laughs> you know yes, what I mean? Yes, that's exactly it's right. Gonna be, it's it's going to be tricky. But anyway, 1619 Project on Hulu. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Check it out. Okay. What is my personal responsibility? So if I want to be an ally, if I want to help as much as possible, what can you give me some advice, some thoughts about what is my personal responsibility? How do I become an ally? 